Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Sweeney and I am from Dental Specialties Northwest. I'd like to talk to you today about implants and implant-induced decay. Uh, it is a bigger problem than you think. Uh, dental implants have been around for a long time. The success rate for them is really high, um, and yet they do come with some complications, and those, one of the complications is decay of adjacent teeth. Um, and this can be a particular problem in people with a high caries rate. Part of it is caused by tooth migration, which changes, which opens the contacts. Uh, studies have shown that with the loss of the contact, there is a 30 to 60 percent chance of developing caries over a period of 11 years for the adjacent teeth. Um, and this open contact usually will occur at a mean time span of about five years. Okay. As caries and teeth are secondary, to open contacts in people with high decay rates, one should really assess and be very watchful for the possibility of developing caries on these teeth. So regular screening should be done. Um, the factors that contribute to the induction of decay is an increased Frankfurt mandibular angle, a discrepancy of the machine fit of the parts of the implants themselves, uh, in t teeth with ceramic contacts that were fired, tend to see it higher in those people. And then a change in occlusal force patterns in people who have had full mouth rehabilitation also were predisposed to this caries problem. So the take home is, if you're gonna use implants, particularly in people with high caries rate, we really do need to monitor regularly. Thank you. I'm Dr. Tom Sweeney, Dental Specialties Northwest.